Hey guys, welcome back to Siberia 2, episode 5. I hope you're all well. So, we've just come back up to the train. I want to talk to Oscar. Um, we need a hand, basically because we're female. The monastery won't even really acknowledge us. Um, and we need to get the shroud up to them because Hans is, sti is sick. So, let's see if Oscar can help us in any way. Hi there, Oscar. Good day to you, Kate Walker. It's, it's no help. Okay, let's go to the shop, see if we can get any help from them in there. Must be something I'm missing. Can you help us, buddy? Any way possible? Colonel Emilyov? Is everything as you would like it, Miss Walker? Well, we're stuck. Colonel. You don't have one of those whistles for making bird noises among your many treasures here, do you? Ooh. A bird call? Why, I sell them by the truckload during the hunting season. I've got a whole collection of them. I think I've got just what you need somewhere. Aha! A gold, a silver... Thanks for all your help, Colonel. And a black. The pleasure is all mine, Miss Walker. Okay. So I take it, because we need what I think anyway, is to get one of those monk robes. We need to get rid of that guy who's doing the washing. So we're going to have to use one of those whistles to make him think there's that special bird that he likes. A model by Alba or something. Something along those lines. You think if someone was ill, it wouldn't matter if you're male or female. See if we can distract this monk. Okay, I don't know uh, which one we'd use. We've got a, s a gold, silver and black. And do you plan on returning it? Ever? Okay, no. <sighs> Didn't like that one. How about the silver? Can you hear? Can you hear? <sighs> the Mela Alba. It is calling to me. Calling to me. Quick, grab a robe. I'm just going to go and put it on. Yay, look at us. Working smooth. <laughs> I like it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Let's ring the bell. Let me in. Are 
Yeah, we got a nod. It looks like one of the uh, lifts that Hans designed from the first episode of the, where the church was. And we got up to go where the bells were. Um, good evening, sir. doesn't care much. What's this? I need something else to act To act Do you mean to activate it? Okay. Box of matches. I need something else to activate. To do with the matches. Don't know. We'll leave that for the minute. He's. Uh, I wonder if we can't use that cloth, can we? Let's go this way. What have we got in here? Have to burn it. I'm trying. I'm trying to dis. No. Why is it letting me look at this? Is there something? Not sure. Maybe we'll uh, need that later. Over here. Nothing there as such. And it won't let us run either, which is kind of cool. Not something you'd do in a place like this. what way to go. There's so many ways to go. Where am I? Oh, I'm up there. To be honest, this looks fairly familiar. This section. This monk's taken a vow of silence. He won't speak to me. Okay. Same for him, I guess. I wouldn't dare interrupt the meditation of a monk. Sorry, dude. Okay, so we'll go back down and go around the other way. Whiling away those celibate hours. <sighs> OK. 
Okay, let's carry on. It's kind of a cool room. I wouldn't dare interrupt the meditation of a monk. They might see me. What is that anyway? They might see me. It's all right. No matter. All right, let's uh, go back up here. Go back out and we'll try one of the other directions. That was out that way, wasn't it? Okay, let's go and have a look for this tree. We've got that way as well. We can go in. Which we need to look at. And there's another way back the other way that we need to go as well. Okay, let's come back and go in the other door, see what's in there. It's quite a vast place actually. further this way. Oh, there's a door here. There's a door. Here. I wouldn't dare interrupt the meditation of a monk. Oh, is that a monk? There? I didn't even see that. Okay. Let's go back on ourselves. been this in this way yet have we Hello? Anybody there? Oh, there is. Uh, excuse me. What? A woman? Women are expressly prohibited. What the devil are you doing here, woman? My name's Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from New York. Excuse me. But I absolutely must speak to you, and your monks wouldn't let me in. Miss Walker, your female presence in this dwelling of monastic retreat is unwelcome. It is very troubling. 
Please leave quickly. Please forgive my slightly cavalier methods to get to see you, Father. But my cause is just, I assure you. I have no need of assurance, my girl. Remember, you are here beneath the gaze of the Almighty. I have a friend who is really sick. In the village, I was told that- We must all brave the ordeals the Lord sends us, my child. Okay, Hans. My friend is named Hans Varlberg. He has devoted his life to making fantastic mechanical machines. His automaton soothed the harsh daily labor of the people of his day, and amused them, entertained them. He's a genius inventor, you know. Hmm. An inventor, you say? The inspiration of such people is often cowed to humility before the marvels of God's own creation. I have come to ask the assistance of the priest healer in the monastery. My friend is very unwell, and very old. Sometimes a body weary of life refuses treatment. That is why we here tend to the soul. From what element is your friend suffering? A high fever. It started with a kind of fit. He fell... Sometimes we have to just accept the inevitable, my child. And resign ourselves to the call of time. No. We'll not accept that. You don't understand. Maybe Hans is old and frail. But he has but one desire. To continue his journey. We have to learn how to meet our fate, my child. This is God's will. My friend needs treatment. You are the only one for miles around who can give him the care he needs. I need a sign from the Almighty, or else I can do nothing for your friend. I am sorry, Miss Walker. I really need your help, Father. You're our only hope. My girl, I attend only to extreme cases, grave illness and madness. But this is an extreme case, Father. There is a rule, Miss Walker. You must respect it. Bring me the imprint of your friend's suffering. I have it. I know what you were telling me. I brought the shroud. Show me, my child. Right. We will go search for your friend. Ooh. It's our man. He's got some. Canton? I can barely hear you. Mr. What news have you got? I, I talked to the hotel guys, Mr. Martin. She checked out a viral bat last week. Headed off with Hans Vorlberg. How is she? Seems her health is fine, Mr. Martin, but... Uh, what? Her behavior seems... Don't beat about the bush, Canton, please. Look, Mr. Martin, it's like this. I'm afraid that Miss Walker has been acting... Uh, how do you say it? Differently. Did you sleep well, my child? Yes, yes, thank you. How is Hans? Alas, you brought him to us so late, my child. What? I fear we cannot do much. We are going to concentrate on tending to his soul. What? What did you say? The man is worn and old. His final hour is upon him. No, but that's impossible. Your friend is dying. You must believe me, my no, child. No, 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 he's not dying. No way. Please take care of Hans, father, please. Torment yourself no longer, my girl. I will tend to the poor soul. Can I see him? No. I do not advise it. 
deranged minds are often too addled by evil, and you could become contaminated by its sly malevolence. Look, contagion doesn't bother me. I've got to talk with him, you understand? The rules, Miss Walker. Remember the rules. No one talks to the sick. I just can't abandon Hans like that. I must see him immediately, you hear? Okay. So be it. Your friend is in the last chamber at the end of the corridor. I beseech thee, my girl. Pay no heed to the imprecations of a sick, delirious, dying man. I will wait for you in the chapel when everything is over. For the formalities, you understand. It's not over. Right, let's go see if we can see Hans. Oh, I hope he's okay. By the sounds of things, he's not. Hans? Hans, can you hear me? Kate, where are we? Don't you worry. You're in very good hands. We cannot carry on our journey in these conditions, Hans. You are ill. You have to be cared for. I... I must go, Kate Walker. I said I'd keep you company until we reach Siberia. I brought you here to be treated. We don't have the time, Kate. We've got... We've got to go to Siberia, Kate Walker. <laughs> Calm down, Hans, please. No! No! <laughs> oh, dear. Hans, we're at the monastery. Do you remember? In Valadilan, it is 7.15 p.m. Father is always punctual. He never stays at home. He always goes to the factory. He locks himself in his office and... No, Hans. Vladilen is where you were born. Here we're in Romansburg. Vladilen is miles away. We're going to take care of you. Alexei. Find Alexei Tukianov. Alexei Tukianov? Alexei. He has lived with the Yukals. He can cure me. Alexei. What are you doing? Wait! Who is Alexei? An old monk. A friend. He knows about you call medicine. You call? Why do you want me to find this monk, Alexei? Alexei... He can treat me. Hans, do try to be reasonable. Nobody here can treat you better than the old patriarch. Alexei knows you call medicine. The old patriarch is an ass. <laughs> <laughs> an so ass. you really think this monk can cure you? Alexei can cure like the shaman. Shaman are the right doctors for me. <laughs> it seems you rate the yukuls for their medicine. Yukul shaman medicine is very strong. Hans, all that shaman malarkey is nonsense. You know that. The Yukos know a lot of things, Kate Walker. A lot of things. I'll be back soon. Okay, Kate. Okay. I don't think there's anything. Hans? Mm -hmm. oh, no, I don't need to do that. Okay, what if that guy's still out there? Yeah, whatever. What are you doing? Hey, you like to eavesdrop. Eavesdrop? No. I clean <laughs> and clean. That's all. Yeah. I've just spoken to Hans. Ha, 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 and what news do you bring my sister? Um, he spoke to me of one of your brothers, named Alexei. Ah, Tempus Edax Rerum. <laughs> Brother Alexei is not of this world, my sister. So you don't know this Alexei, do you? No, no. <laughs> Omnis homo mendax. <laughs> okay. Come on, you must know where Alexei is. 
Moore's Ultima Ratio. <laughs> oh, he's a pain. What's that? What's that you've given me? Sister, I think there was a man of God, my friend. He lived away from the monastery for many years among the strange Yukal people and their, their great mammoths. To find them, this might help. Hmm. Okay. Bit confused. Let's pick this up, seeing if it's uh, an option. A brush. A brush. Interesting. Might be worth popping over here as well. Uh, there's someone in there actually. So guys, I think I'll leave the op the episode here. Uh, I'm not sure how time-wise I'm in as I can't see my other screen at the minute. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks again guys. Take care. Bye-bye.